next guest is the author of the cookie book. What a great name for a book. It's just full of cookies. And she's here to make us a sweet treat skillet cookie that will have your taste buds on overdrive. Please welcome back Rebecca Firth. Hi, Rebecca. Hey, thank, thank you for having me. We've never been so happy to see you. How popular in this wow. house. Seriously. Just saying. We had to campaign for that. Yes. This is yeah. amazing. Good news. I'll make you guys cookies anytime. So Cameron, you guys dig in. Wow. That is really an impressive dessert. It's a and I just want you guys to know that that's a mini size. I mean, Rebecca, we were just talking about, yeah. you can make them giant. In a nice 10 inch, <laughs> 10 inch scope. Oh, oh well, wow. why did you, you just looked at me for the larger size. size. <laughs> like she looked at me and went, or you can just make it for the full size. Yeah, right. if you that's need. how I like it. These are super <laughs> impressive, but they're extra special to you. Why is that? Um, well, I love a skillet cookie because you're basically putting together regular cookie dough, but then it's so easy to make because you don't have to keep scooping out cookies and going back and forth. It's like in the oven, mm. comes out, and then you're ready to dive in. Gosh, and it's so right? fun. It really is yeah, so fun. it looks fun. pretty. All right, it starts with a little bit of browned butter, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Brown butter is one of my most favorite ingredients for baking because it infuses so many yummy caramel flavors mm -hmm. and it's just heaven. It smells. I know. Doesn't oh, that smell? I, love the smell I think we need to make it into perfume. Oh, I agree. Oh, that would do be that, really good. Right? And look at all those little bits. We don't want to miss that, no. do we? So the good there. thing about, or when you're making your brown butter, you have to make sure that you don't walk away because it'll burn so fast. Very quickly. Yeah. So and then we're going to have some sunflower seed oil, which is one of my favorite oils to bake with. And I appreciate that. I, yeah. I like that you're using something that's a little healthier than a regular canola. Well, and it's also good because it really doesn't leave any flavor. So you're just using it for the moisture and the texture that it will add to the cookie. And then we're going to add in some granulated sugar because that's always a good time. So brown sugar and regular <laughs> sugar. Yeah, brown sugar, regular. And then we have two whole eggs. And then we're going to add in an egg yolk, um, which we'll, we're going to add that guy in there for, um, he'll add extra moisture, richness. Um, he'll also also give it a nice crispy exterior. What makes it so chewy? It's um, so yummy and chewy. But it's we're so gonna get to on the that. outside. Oh, we're gonna get to that. Okay, I'm okay, tell I'm sorry. You what's good. Well, All actually, right, the, the egg yolk helps it get chewy, and then there's one okay. other thing. So then we also add some milk to keep things nice. We do want it to have okay. some moisture in there, not dry out, and then some vanilla, right? Now, one of the best ways when you are baking with oil, it really has a desire to separate out. Um, so you want to really make sure that you emulsify it. Okay. Think of it like a salad dressing. You want it to become this big, cohesive okay. yumminess. Because if the oil do is not completely combined with everything, it can It can separate out, and then you end up with a greasy baked good, which is oh. no bueno. No, that is no, no bueno. Now, if you were just making a regular cookie, mm -hmm. just for my own edification, mm -hmm. just because I know you love cookies. I mean, yes. you literally wrote the book on cookies. Yeah. Would you make the cookie this way, even if it wasn't a skillet cookie? Because I noticed the extra egg yolk. We could do all of this of and make it into a regular cookie. Just delicious. Here. All right, Can I'll I just take say this? I have cut out like cookies and bread and <laughs> no. things mm -hmm. from my diet, and it is like saying hello to a friend right? that I've forgotten about. Thank you. Literally, it's I happy am so that you're happy back. Right now. This is delicious. <laughs> I'm not sure I ever knew a friend like this before. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you that, I and mean, this is like unlike anything I've had. Best friend ever. Wait, so this is the other ingredient that's gonna help us with the chewiness is the bread flour. You know how I love bread flour right. in my cookies. Yeah. Oh. So it's all-purpose flour, bread flour. Bread flour gives cookies some nice chewiness oh. um, and a little more, you know, sometimes you have a cookie that's super flat. Mm -hmm. A little bit of bread flour in there will help puff it up and keep it chewy. Well, I mean, you talk about it being chewy, but I love in the skillet. The crispy. You get the crispy yeah. all the yeah. way around. I it's love so that. good. No okay. one makes I mean, a cookie like Rebecca. Oh, go on. <laughs> I'll come here every day. It's true. Well, please. So then wet and dry. True. Wet into dry, we'll just like you camera. would any baked treat, okay. right? Our most baked treats. There you go. Um, and then we're going to just fold it in, and we're going to fold it until we still have some streaks of flour, because we don't want to overwork our dough and have a tough cookie. Oh, interesting. Because that's okay. a disaster. Okay. Nobody wants a tough cookie. No. <laughs> Nobody wants a tough cookie. Unless, of course, you're doing a business deal and you need them on your side. Then, then you, you want need a, a tough, tough cookie, cookie, but not when you're going to eat it. <laughs> so we're going to get this until it's just streaky, and then we'll throw in our add-ins. And one thing that we can do when we're throwing in um, the add-ins is just reserve a couple 
so that we can put them on the top to make it look really pretty, pretty. right? Okay, so our add-ins for today are just dark, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, chunks. but you could use any, if you're a milk chocolate person, like feel free. Right, okay. you know. But I think it's nice to have the dark chocolate, the juxtaposition, because the cookie is already so sweet on yeah. its own. The dark chocolate is really nice. I'm not a dark chocolate girl, but it, with the ice the cream and the cookies, mm. yes. Yeah. Good. So, and then we're going to add in our pretzels. Some can be whole, some can be broken, and then we'll reserve some of those too. And the saltiness of the pretzel is just perfect yeah. with the I sweetness. I love it. And then the, car uh, the caramel candies, you want to try and get, um, these are a little... They've made their home in here. <laughs> uh, now we're getting back to the chewy stuck. factors. Yeah, so you want to get chewy caramels, not hard ones. Okay. Um, so then they'll be really nice and ooey gooey to bite into. Oh my gosh. Wait, these guys I love this because you get a bite of like tanginess with the salt. Then you get a bite mm -hmm. of the caramel. There we then go. Then you get a bite of the chocolate. That is. Would, wouldn't right? the caramel, That's even awesome. if they are a little hard, wouldn't they soften uh, from the baking? Or? They soften in the heat, and then they could, like, if the next day they might firm back up again, but oh. you could give it a quick blast in the um, oven. Sometimes 350 just for, like, eight minutes is enough to just make everything happy again. Man, okay. Have you ever seen cookie dough so delightful? Right? I think not. Can I have a little That is so important. You want it? the cookie no. dough? Yeah. Oh, Here you go. Oh, I'll take it off the spoon. Take the spoon. That's probably more, a little there you go. Okay. Take the spoon, okay. and we will put this in here. I just here. have to try it. I'll get this you another. Treat, okay. This is treat day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Here you go, Rebecca. Sure, your dog don't approve. So, and then you're going to want to, It's the dough's yeah. not really going to totally settle down on its own, so you kind of want to force the issue. Oh, my god. And kind of pat it in there. Okay, there's, maybe we should have mixed that up just a wee bit more. <laughs> my mouth okay. is watering. Now, I do know that we already greased the skillets, correct? Yes. We put butter on there because okay. there'd be nothing worse than going to all this effort and then not being able to get our cookie out. That like, would be a big shame. Right? Well, I mean, you could just eat it out of the skillet because that's what we're really doing. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say you have to really press it in there? Mm -hmm. You do. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, it will come out. Like, if you leave it super lumpy, it will come out lumpy. So you kind of just want to nook it around. Make it pretty. Yeah. So then we pop these in for how long? Well, can we give them a couple? Sure. Of oh, my Let's goodness. Let's give them please. some jazz hands and some flair. <laughs> Jazz hands and flair. That's why I like my cookies. Can't say that any better than that. Right. That's, a perfect, that's a perfect way to describe it. I mean, why eat it if it's not pretty? That's right. Okay, so then these are going to go in the oven. Oh my gosh, they're heavy. Okay. Whoa! 350. Um, for the little mini skillets, will be in there for about 12 minutes, 12 to 15. And when they come out, Whoa. Wow, they're heavy, right? Yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful. Yeah, when they come out, they will seem like a little undone. So you should let them sit for like 30 minutes. And I would say 50% of the time I do that. And then the other 50%, I just you go just for it. You can't, you can't yeah. wait. And then we top it with some ice cream. Wow, when I, I don't say know I want, what to eat first. When I say I want you to be my best friend, it's also because of you and the cookies. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so good. No wow. There you go. Have a little bite, guys. Enjoy wow. the little ice cream on there, is that right? You that gotta have ice cream. Is so good. Get ready, mm -hmm. Debbie. So I good. know they tell us we're not there. supposed to do this anymore, but I did it growing up. Yeah, it was delicious. I know. I we love it. We're we fine. Survive. The Thank cookie book in here. is available now, and you'll find this recipe at HallmarkChannel.com. You're gonna want to check it out. So good. Cheers.